वेलकम एवरीबॉडी आज हमारे साथ डॉक्टर गिरीश आहूजा विश्व पता में ऑफ अवर सी एफ एंटीनिटी आज जैसा आपको सबको पता है कि आज इंट्रीम बजट पीयूष गोयल जी ने अनाउंस किया है तो उसके बारे में हम प्रतिक्रिया करना चाहते हैं कि कैसा रहा मतलब हम डॉक्टर गिरीश जी से ये पूछना चाहते हैं कि आपकी फर्स्ट रिएक्शन क्या है इस बजट के बारे में फ्रेंड्स लेट मी टेल यू दिस इज नाइदर अ फुल बजट नॉर ए वोट ऑफ अकाउंट इट वॉज द ट्रेडिशन हैज बीन द कन्वेंशन हैज बीन दैट वेन एवर देर आर इलेक्शन हेल्ड नियर बाय वी वी वॉट डू वी डू इज वी प्रेजेंट ए वोट एंड अकाउंट विच इज पास बिफोर थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च सो दैट वी कैन इंकर द एक्सपेंडिचर इंकर आफ्टर फर्स्ट अप्रैल ऑन आर आफ्टर फर्स्ट अप्रैल बट दिस इज बिकॉज the for the last two years the trend has been changed now the budget is presented on 1st of february which is normally passed before 31st march and since it is passed before 31st march there is a possibility of bringing some changes from assessment year 2020 21 also which they have done convention has been not to uh, tinker with the uh, budget just to have vote and account and our all amendments to be brought in the finance number 2 bill but this time changes have been made finance bill has been introduced not only for bringing the rates of taxes but also bringing few amendments this is the first time we have seen that the changes are there let me tell you it is an interim budget it has to be passed by the parliament it cannot be otherwise made applicable it has to be passed by the uh, lok sabha first and since it is a money bill automatically it will have to be passed by the लोग वॉट यू कॉल राज्यसभा एंड इफ दे डोंट पास इट डजेंट मेक एनी डिफरेंस क्योंकि सर ट्विटर्स में कई जगह ये चल रहा है कि फाइनेंस बिल आया तो उसको पास तो करना ही पड़ेगा ठीक ये फाइनेंस बिल पास तो उनको करना ही पड़ेगा बिफोर दिस पार्लियामेंट बिकॉज इट इज पार्ट ऑफ द बजट इट इज पार्ट ऑफ द बजट सो वंस इट इज पास इट बिकम एप्लीकेबल नाउ द सेकेंड बिल वेंस कम दे मे मेक चेंजेस दे मे मेक अमेंडमेंट इन दैट बट दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम बिकॉज the parliament is there and they have a majority they will pass the bill the parliament has passed it it becomes a law for 2020 2030 so few changes which was very less we were not expected but because this is a election year and they have a power convention has been not to do it but there is no restriction also there there is absolutely no restriction earlier the finance bill used to be passed in the month of may if it is a normal finance bill and then if it is a finance bill normal finance bill it was passed before 31st march but that was only vote on account this time it is not neither a vote on account nor a final it is interim then the moment i say the interim budget it is just like interim dividend it is just like interim dividend so you could give the benefit in between also and since it will be passed by the parliament it will be made applicable that is a different thing finance bill 2 will also come the amendment will come there also they make make the changes but it will be very difficult to make it retrospective changes for that prospective you could do whatever but whatever income taxes it is always for the year so this is the first time i have seen that uh, assessment year 2020 2000 they have given the benefit this cannot be said that this is only projection or they they have given the budget but it will be passed in the second one no it has to be passed here only it is part of their budget papers which is presented to the parliament it will have to be passed sir ab hum aap se 87a ke bare mein koi discuss kar sakte hain dekhiye main aapko cheez bataun jo abhi finance minister ne bola wo bilkul expected yahi tha that the limit has not been raised from 2 lakh 50000 to 5 lakh there is no intention but there was intention to give benefit but they also wanted the assessee to file a return of income because return of income has to be filed if your total income before claiming deduction under atc to atu exceeds the maximum exemption limit that is more than 2 lakh 50000 before claiming deduction under atc to atu mind it here what they have done they have said return to be filed but if your total income that is after claiming deduction under atc to atu does not exceed rupees 5 lakh and you are an individual please note the word individual it is not for huf and a resident of india and your total income after claiming deduction under atc to atu does not exceed rupees 5 lakh then you will be allowed 
a rebate. Please note it is a rebate, it is not exemption. It is a rebate from the tax which is you have calculated as per the normal provisions. Rebate will be to the extent of tax payable or rupees 12,500 whichever is less. Because on 5 lakh the maximum tax is 12,500. So if your income is 4 lakh the tax will be less. So the rebate will be to the extent of the tax payable. So if it is income is 4 lakh the tax will be let's say uh, on 150 say 5% 7,500 you will get a rebate of 7,500. So what I am trying to explain that up to 5 lakh if it is less than 5 lakh rebate is 100% and if it is 5 lakh also the tax is 12,500 the rebate is also 12,500 because tax on 5 lakh is 12,500 so there will be no tax payable by you since tax is nil surcharge and uh, sorry uh, uh, health and education tax will also be nil so no tax but the moment you cross 5 lakh please five, you are 5 lakh 10,000 you will have to pay tax of 14,500 plus 4% why 14,500 on 5 lakh 12,500 on 10,000 2,000 14,500 plus, uh, plus your uh, health and education says. So it is something very surprising. I earned 10,000 and I paid 14,500 plus uh, what you call health and education says. We will definitely, I will definitely put in a word for the amendment to be made that there should be a margin relief in this case also. Mm -hmm. That your tax should not be more than the income earned about to pay 5 lakh. Suppose I take 5 lakh 10,000, extra earn is 10,000. So tax should not be more than 10,000. I should be given that rebate. Let's see, we'll try that. We will put up this award. It happens, very good. Otherwise up to the government. So this is 87A. Please individual, resident in India, total income after claiming deduction under ATC to ATU does not exceed rupees 5 lakh. The entire tax or 12,500, whichever is less. This is 87 8. Sir, what about standard deduction? Very simple. Last year, standard deduction brought under section 16 IA, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was 40,000, yeah. or the salary, whichever is less, or the amount of salary, whichever is less. Now, this 40,000 has been raised to 50,000. Yeah. So, if you're, it is rupees 50,000, irrespective of your salary, hmm. or, or the amount of salary, whichever is less. Hmm. So, 50,000 is the standard deduction. 10,000 benefit has been given to everyone who is a salaried employee. That benefit is only when you are up to 5 lakh. But this benefit is for all salaried employee, whether he is a pensioner, senior citizen or whatever maybe he is a salaried employee, he will get an extra deduction of 10,000 rupees. So all employees getting benefit of 10,000 rupees. So now section 54. 54. A house and uh, Let me tell you, so far today what you have is you earn a capital gain on the transfer of any residential house property. And the capital gain is if there is a capital long term capital gain. This long-term capital gain is exempt to the extent it is invested in the purchase of one house. And that too in India. To the extent you invest that in a one house, that too in India, within a period of one year or before the date of transfer or two years after the date of transfer, or you go for construction within three years after the date of transfer. This is the position. Today is capital gain invested exemption, but only for one house. Now, the amendment is a proviso that if your long term capital gain does not exceed rupees 2 crore, please, long term capital gain does not exceed 2 crore, you can invest this in more than one house, that means two houses. You can invest in two houses, exemption will be given. Of course, two houses in India, exemption will be given. But this benefit you can claim once in your lifetime. Hmm. Once in a lifetime. Number one, long term capital gain should not exceed rupees 2 lakh. Whatever amount invested out of this long term capital gain, which you are going to claim exemption under 54, can be invested in more than one house, that is two houses. But that too, please note, only once in a lifetime. Second time you cannot do it. Second time, yes, that exists. You sell one, buy one. Sell one, buy one, any number. That is no problem. Sell one, buy one, 54, you can do any time you like it, provided you satisfy the condition of section 54. Oh, section 23.3, read with section 23.4, mm -hmm. uh, 23.2 and 4. Mm -hmm. You know that one house, yeah. is, for self-occupied, you can opt for one house to be opt as, uh, assessed as self-occupied, whose annual value nil hogi, 
और बाकी अगर हाउस मोर देन वन हाउस पर सेल्फ ऑक्यूपेशन इट इज ट्रीटेड एज डीम टू बी लेट आउट आपको उसको टैक्स देना होता है अगर एक से ज्यादा घर आपके पास है द चेंज इज नाउ यू कैन कीप यू कैन ऑप्ट फॉर टू हाउसेस इंस्टेड ऑफ वन टू हाउसेस टू बी ट्रीटेड एज सेल्फ ऑक्यूपाइड एनुअल वैल्यू ऑफ द बोथ दी हाउसेस शेल बी नील If you have more than two houses, hmm. the the rest will be deemed to be let out. Option is you are you can choose out of the three two, hmm. out of the four two, but more than two houses, the balance house or houses shall be treated as deemed to be let out. But if you have only two houses, where anywhere in India, hmm. you have two houses, absolutely no problem, and we will you let. But mind it, the interest deduction of hmm. two lakh is. All, for both the houses taken together, for the together. amount of deduction or the aggregate amount of deduction, mm -hmm. whether for one house or two houses, which you have self, which you have asked for self occupation, cannot exceed thirty thousand if it is repairs and etc. and two lakh. Mind it, the deduction per house is not two lakh. Aggregate deduction of interest for both the houses taken together will be limited to. This okay. is the change which for is self occupied. Self occupied residential and residential house can be occupied by only individual or HUF. Yeah, yeah. it is not available to any of these. Yeah. Next point also mm. important. Mm -hmm. Recently, Section Twenty Three Five was introduced that if you have a house property which is held as a stock in trade, mm -hmm. then it will not be it will not be you know the annual value will be nil if for one year the annual value will be nil from the date. You from the end of the financial year when you have obtained the completion certificate mm -hmm. for one year annual value will be nil. The year of completion plus one year. Now this one year because everybody was saying we are not able to sell the houses. The real estate is in a problem. They have stock large stock in trade. They are not letting it out. How can they earn the income? This is deemed let out. Mm -hmm. So they have increased the limit. This raised one year has been raised to two years. Two years. Although I have the opinion this should not be there, mm -hmm. but for the time being the relaxation is there. Let us see the new budget comes. Mm -hmm. We will try that this section should not be there. Mm -hmm. Then, now coming to uh, this is uh, what you call you have already done. Now you was talking about the TDS. Yes. You know the TDS under you know in the case of uh, uh, time deposit, a uh, time deposit whether it is recurring deposit or a fixed mm -hmm. deposit, TDS is not deductible if the total amount paid or credited during the year does not exceed rupees ten thousand. Mm -hmm. Senior citizen is fifty thousand, mm -hmm. but for other other than senior citizen, mm -hmm. the TDS is to be deducted if the total amount of uh, interest paid or credited during the year exceeds rupees ten thousand. Mm -hmm. But if it does not exceed ten thousand, no TDS. They have brought it. They have raised this ten thousand to forty thousand, meaning thereby no TDS to be deducted by the bank or a cooperative bank. Or or NBFC. or NBFC, NBFC at all? These are banks, uh, post office, not the NBFC. Not the NBFC. Post office, cooperative bank, or bank, uh, scheduled bank. If the total amount paid or credited, not on saving, hmm. time deposit, yes. recurring deposit, does not exceed rupees forty thousand. Hmm. Forty thousand. Please, don't think you are benefited. Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Is only thing is the exercise of taking back. Mind it, the return of. Those persons who are getting interest less than forty thousand is also submitted by the banks and cooperative society to the income tax department. Mm -hmm. They have the information. Don't think nobody will come to know. I have got a forty thousand rupees as interest, so let me not show because how will they be able to catch me? The the information is with them. Fifth. Although it is not in twenty six years, but the separate report. Fifteen G H. No, not not in fifteen G H. No, no, no. It's a fifteen G H is separate. Separate. Fifteen G H. So you no tedious to be directed at all. This now, is now they're limited. This, where the limit, in limit, where interest was given up less than ten thousand. Hmm. Again, a statement of all the persons hmm. was going to the income tax department. Hmm. It is a duty of the bank or a cooperative bank or post office to submit that statement. Now they will submit for up to less than forty thousand. Okay. So information is available with the income tax department. Don't take this there. Yeah, mm -hmm. nobody will come to know if I receive uh, on FDR forty thousand. So let me not show it. Mm -hmm. There is a tracking. Tracking is there. There is a complete tracking is there. So please be careful about that. Mm -hmm. Similarly, in the case of rent under one ninety four, I where the limit was one lakh eighty thousand. Now it has been raised to two lakh forty thousand. 
means no TDS to be deducted if the payment amount of rent does not exceed 2,40,000. That is the only change in 194i and that was a change in 194a. So this is what is required. Any other, sir? Uh, what about the e assessment? Because let me the, tell you e assessment. The existing existing e assessment uh, not you. going well with today, the department. Today e assessment is not a perfect e assessment. Mm. One, mm. it is optional. Mm. Two, you know the assessing officer. Mm. You know the assessing officer who is your assessing officer. Mm. You know him. This only thing is you have to give everything on the online, but you can also go there. The future is different. There, the taxpayer and the SSC will not know each other. Juridictional, who is going to be your assessing officer, you will not come to know. Who is the taxpayer, the department will also not come to know. You will have to file a return and it will be pure e-assessment which is going to be mandatory, let me tell you, no face to face at all. It's mandatory going to be, even if you have to go for personal hearing, it will be video conferencing. It will be video conferencing. You will not know where your AO is sitting. Who is your AO? You will not come to know. You may be filing their return in Delhi. He may be sitting in Chennai and doing your assessment. Assessing officer and taxpayer, you will not be able to trace. This is going to be a thing which very likely to be takes time. You know, it is not that easy. It, uh, you have to change all the systems and everything. It will take, they have said in two years time, we are going to do that. Mm -hmm. But today it is, you know the assessing officer. It is... It's a e assessment, but you know the assessing officer mm -hmm. who is your assessing officer. So that is the difference. Or kuch aap is budget ke baare mein? Sir, dekhi, ke budget ke baare mein mein ye bataun, isse jada kar bhi nahi sakte the. Mm -hmm. Ye bhi bohat kar diya, which was, I was thinking only some uh, 87A and standard deduction be changed. But they have given a benefit in the form of 54A, they have given a benefit in 194A, 194I, they have given a benefit. Well, usko bhi diya real estate wale. Ajay, usko diya. Ek saal ka exemption kar diya affordable housing ke liye. Okay, because of the, that was expiring on 31st March 2019, now it has been raised to 31st March 2020. Ek saal ke liye aur unko Sir, jo working uh, uh, liye in inventory jo tha, jo inventory jo period mein complete karna tha na. Aur saal ke karna tha, aur approval leni thi up to 31st March 19, hmm. that approval can be taken up to 31st okay. March 20. Okay. So one year extra ho gaya na, hmm. jisne nahi liya, le le, aur hmm. extend kar diya. Or 100% deduction hai. Wo condition wo hi hai 30 meter, 60 meter. Wo hi condition hai 3% commercial ho sakta hai. Baaki nahi. Wo conditions hai 80 IBA mein. Wo condition to lagengi. Bas ye is. Sir, one, two, two, pichle two dino se viewers bohot ham upar keh rahe hain ki aapne budget talk, budget talk. To aap ye show kijiye ki budget, budget, budget talk jo la June mein ham, oh, June chale. July mein. Dekhe, ye itne itne ye budget talk honi chahiye thi. <laughs> nahi, nahi. Itne se ke liye jami honi chahiye thi na. <laughs> to I told him. The, there is no question of any budget talk for this person. We will have it when the second bill comes. After, obviously, all, uh, all changes are going to be made there, not at this stage of time. We still, I am expecting two, three extra changes, they have done it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I was expecting only 87A and standard reduction. Mm -hmm. But some relief they have given in the form of 54 or maybe one more than one house, which is, which is very welcome. That's all I would say. I was not expecting, but it is welcome. Thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you, sir. Welcome, thank you, sir. Welcome.